at the pool outside. Yeah, it is. It is. I. It's supposed to get uh, what supposed to be about eighty by the weekend. Yeah, I yeah. think I I saw that it was I think going to be mid seventies today. So hopefully it warms up a little bit. It feels more like fall and duck hunting than it does planting season. It does. Yeah, you definitely need some heat to get on this these crops. Oh yeah, that'll help a lot. I'm sure it'll show up in time. Looks we like we're live. Yes, getting everything set up here. We needed a little bit of rain, and that's what we got. We got about an inch last week. What'd you guys get? So I can get my garden in. I know we got we got a bunch of rain last week. There was one day we had over two inches, and then I didn't keep track the rest of the week. But I mean, it's been raining for the better part of the week so far this week. But I'm ready for some heat to help my garden pop up. Me too. We were, we're over here in Western Iowa, which was the dry spot. You know, everything north of Omaha had been missing all the rains, and it was it had gotten pretty dry. It, and we, we had a fair bit. I mean, at least enough to get things germinated going. Most of the crop is up now through uh uh warren county la last thursday and we actually drove through a tornado but they had four and a half inches in an hour yeah in that area. i've seen when they oh, had that tornado warning down there crazy yeah but so here we go we are we are live on facebook right now we've got some james is saying hi to everybody good old james hi, frankel hi. Hi, James. Morning, James. <laughs> um, today we are chatting about some really exciting opportunities at Dream Dirt. It's a little bit of a different conversation than we have had in the past, um, but we're excited to introduce some new opportunities, talk about some ongoing opportunities for not only individuals who are interested in um, maybe a farm real estate career, but for auction companies as well. So we've got a broad range of really exciting things we're going to talk about today. So let's just first, um, I know sometimes we have some new people joining us on Facebook. So let's go around briefly and introduce ourselves. Hi, my name is Jason Smith. I'm an auctioneer and land broker at uh, Dream Dirt, uh, partner with uh, Tom Bradley. Um, my background in this business goes back about 15 years ago. I was a police officer full-time for the first 20 years of my adult life. And uh, then I moved into something different as a second career. And this has been my, my second career. I focus mainly on farmland sales, uh, using the auction method, but also broker and do listings as well. And I'm Nicole Smith. I'm also an auctioneer. Um, my background is I have a computer science degree and I worked with um, software. And then from there, I, of course, with my husband, we started Dream Dirt and we also partner with Tom. And my portion where I started is with the online auction. And from there, we've grown and I've taken on a little bit more of the administrative side and have handed the coordination of auctions over to Rachel Hoy. Hello, everybody. Tom Bradley, uh, auctioneer and land broker here at Dream Dirt Partners with Jason Nicole. Uh, you know, one thing I love about Facebook is the memories that pop up. And today, 10 years ago, I conducted my first auction. Uh, so I always remember that because my son will be 10 tomorrow. And uh, so I've been in the business a little bit around 10 years. Uh, before that, I was a job superintendent doing uh, construction, uh, managing uh uh, crews and lining that stuff up, which has helped me in uh, what I do with Dream Dirt now. I help with our day-to-day -day, uh, running our farm bid uh, and uh, lining up, working with our, our agents and stuff there and helping answer their questions along with uh, conducting our machinery auctions and uh, my own real estate business. Hi, everyone. I'm Rachel Hoy. Um, and like Nicole said, I kind of followed in her footsteps of helping with all of our online auctions and coordinating them, publishing them, helping with anyone um, needing help to get registered to bid, sending out invoices and just following up with the bidders and also with our auctioneers and auction affiliates. Um, I also have my real estate license with Dream Dirt and have just enjoyed filling in with any tasks that Jason, Nicole or Tom throw at me. 
everybody. I'm Kristen Lau, uh, communications manager. I help with kind of the outward facing um, advertising, branding, everything you see, um, running social media and design and stuff like that. And again, yep, just like Rachel helping with anything that uh, Nicole or Tom or Jason needs, we kind of all pick up where work needs to get done. So um, Tom Stephanie says, congratulations on your 10 years on Facebook. Um, and just a reminder to anybody watching on Facebook today, feel free to write a comment to us. I'll be sure to let the team know what you say or ask any questions. We're gonna be talking about a lot of information today. So pop any questions in the comments. In the video description, I've put a couple links to some more information. So be sure to check those out if you're interested in any of the opportunities we talk about today. So let's kick it off and talk first a little bit about just what these opportunities are, the potential in the real estate and the auctions and the different ways that we as a company can cooperate with others. I'll, uh, I'll start off, Kristen, if you don't mind, um, you know, kind of to summarize and just give the 30,000 foot view picture. Um, you know, we're, we're an auction company, we're a real estate company, and we're also a marketing company at the same time. I and mean, that's our real expertise is marketing. And because we were early adopters of a lot of the different technologies that are um, so prevalent today in our business and in space, we spent a lot of time, money, and effort to develop not only the, the technology as it relates to how our business operates, but also develop the best practices to make those things work. So today, we offer our platform out in, in various different ways to help other auctioneers. And there can be, I mean, there can be so many reasons for that, as well as other people that might not be auctioneers, um, other real estate agents, or even attorneys that deal with estates and conduct auctions. You know, many attorneys use sealed auctions where I really think for them an online auction probably would be much easier for them to manage um, and probably end up with really good results out of that process as well. So our, our system is open to clients, to customers, to people, to other professionals in lots of different ways. And I know that we're gonna go through a lot of those things, but for example, somebody might come to us just on a one-time basis and wanna conduct just one auction you know, to help with us. Maybe a realtor, for example, that might sell houses, but um, you know, ends up with something, you know, a, a, a farm that's not really their expertise. It's not their thing. They don't have the resources for that. In that case, they can come to us and cooperate with us on a one-time basis. We also have um, other solutions that are much more long-term, like our affiliate program, where somebody can come become an affiliate member of ours and get a lot of different benefits over a long period of time on a monthly basis. So that's kind of the 30,000 foot view. There's, you know, there's a whole lot of moving pieces and bits and parts of that. But the one thing that I can assure you, and the one thing I want people to understand is if you have something to sell, no matter who you are, we have a solution to help you with that. Those are for opportunities here in the next couple points. Um, before we go any further, Tom, you have a lot of congratulations coming in from the Worldwide College of Auctioneering. I know you guys have worked with them a lot in the past and got your auctioneering degrees through them. So that's pretty exciting. Um, let's move into the next topic, which is how to become an agent or broker with Dream Dirt. And I'll, I'll lead on that one as well, too, and, and kind of answer that question. So one of the ways that we work with other people is they can, can, can become an agent for us. Um, that's probably the most typical and traditional relationship that we have and, and companies just like us have is they have agents that work inside of their company under that company's license and under that company's insurance and stuff. So in that case, we're always recruiting new agents. We're looking for talent. We're not looking for bodies. We're looking for talent, people that are motivated, uh, people that are talented, and people that can thrive in our environment. We're really looking for people that want to thrive, not just exist and not just be a part of something, but people that want to thrive and do really well. So on this, you know, on this call today, I've got a real estate license. I'm the broker of the company. Tom has a real estate license. Rachel has a real estate license. Um, not everybody in our company has a real estate license because not everybody sells real estate in our company. Some people are more towards personal property. Some people are more aimed at farm equipment and stuff like that. 
But for those of us that are on our real estate team, and there's many others that have real estate licenses with us that are not here today, the, how that relationship works is we support you. Um, you would typically leverage your network to find listings or people that want to sell properties. And then you turn them into us, you create a contract, you turn them into us, and then we work on finding the buyer. So oftentimes that relationship is you're looking for sellers, we're looking for buyers. And that's not to say that the lines don't cross a little bit, that we aren't helping put out advertising for you to help you know, send out sellers. For example, Christian, you do all of our communications and our agents are supported by you. You might create postcards for them. You might create flyers for them or help them with social media campaigns and support them in all of these ways. Blog posts, I can't even, I mean, they're all just rolling through my head. There's so many ways that we support agents and the things that we do for them. I think that's one of the things that makes Dream Dirt a great place to be an agent because um, we're always working to make our agents be successful. We're always working on different thoughts and ideas and helping them with things to make sure that they're out there. You know, for instance, we have a we have a private group on Facebook where we often do mentoring and stuff like that with our agents and you guys saw that um, in my spare time last night, if there's such a thing as spare time, I made a video to our agents explaining to them about the use of social media. So that mentorship, that relationship is kind of what defines our agent program at Dream Dirt. Um, and, and in that case, you would just be an agent for us. You would hang your license with us. And there's a couple of different ways that we're always looking for agents. Um, for instance, we don't have a broker in Illinois right now. And that's something that we'd be interested in. If there's somebody out there that's in Illinois, that's a real estate broker, that's maybe thinking, you know, hey, I want to join a, a franchise or a program that can help support me. I want to put less effort into the marketing and the administrative side of my business and work more towards the sales and stuff like that. That Again, that's a place where an agent or a broker fits in at Dream Dirt. Um, so that's kind of the dream dirt, you know, the broker agent relationship. And that's one way that people can come grow their business and grow themselves as an agent, learn more, get more experience and uh, become a better agent that way. Speaking of agents, we have Andrea Andrashek watching on Facebook right now. She just joined the team as an agent and she's been a great addition. It's been really fun having her on. So hi, Andrea. Good morning, Andrea. Hope all's well out there in Northeast Iowa. So that's a lot of great information. If anyone has any questions about kind of what life as a farm real estate agent looks like, make sure you drop them in the comments. We're happy to answer those as we go along today. Um, but we're going to move on to our next topic. And I'm going to have Nicole touch on this a little bit. What is an auction affiliate and how can a company become one with Dream Dirt? Okay, so this is something we at Dream Dirt are really excited about is our new affiliate program that we started. Um, Kristen, if you wanna bring up that screen and we can kind of share that package a little bit. Yes. We, have, we have put together different levels that a company, let's, let's say you're a company, but you don't wanna leave your company and join somebody else just to have like an online platform. What you can do is join DreamDirt as an affiliate where you keep your branding, you put on your logo and your information, but at the same time, I'm going to get this a little bit bigger so that I can. You guys see, see that? It. Okay. I can there see we it go. Really well on my end. Yeah. Okay, awesome. So we have different levels that they can join. And those different levels kind of depend on the amount of um, support that they would need as a company. From very little support, they do it all their, on their own to a little more support as well as all of our um, marketing and so forth. And not only that, we also have a package that's called a white label. And Jason's gonna go into all of these details a little in a little bit more detail, but the white label is something that is completely and totally all their company. It's seamless, everything looks exactly and if you want to hit a little bit more of the detail on the affiliates and a little bit more on that um, white label, that'd be awesome. You know, our, our affiliate program comes from what Nicole said exactly. For those people that want to have their own auction company, for those people that say, you know, this has been my dream to build a business and I want to do this thing. We offer support to that type of company or that type of a person. And, you know, I think that that's a very noble dream. I was no different myself. I one day 
since I was a little kid uh, and had a paper route and was running around collecting 50 cents from all of the readers that I delivered their newspapers. I always enjoyed, I had that entrepreneurial spirit. And I know that that's something that's deep in Tom's blood as well as that entrepreneurial spirit. And so this is a place that fits in really well. Um, I'll give you a good example. For those people that are just finishing auctioneering school and coming out into the world and saying, what's the best way for me to build my business? Where's the biggest opportunity at? We at Dream Dirt have built an audience over a 15 year time period that you know, that entire time period encompasses sort of the digital age where auctioneering went more from a live only format to more of an online format. And so we've built that audience over a long period of time, as well as I talked about earlier, the best practices for um, harnessing this technology and making it work the best for your sellers to get the best results out of it for your sellers. So this is one place where as you're beginning to build your business, this really fits in a more of a long-term relationship where you can get support and essentially rent an audience that would otherwise cost you, you know, over a million dollars to duplicate. Um, and there's, I mean, well beyond a million dollars behind this in, in terms of, you know, that 15 years and the time and money spent to build all of this. So this is something that you can come in instantly and have access to all of those things very, very quickly. And this is also something that will help you land more business because as you go to talk with sellers and, and sellers vet you versus other auctioneers, you know, I know very well coming into this business, the first day I stepped foot on the ground in the auction business and the real estate business, the only thing I would hear was all of those people that had been here for 30 years, 35 years. You know, those people were so ingrained in the process and they already had these audiences built and they had this name recognition and they had all of that behind them. And I had to compete against that as a new person. And that was really difficult because, you know, to be honest with you, when I started out, I think I had a notepad and an ink pen and maybe a little uh, bag to carry my stuff in. This was, and that was before the days of mobile cell phones. They, they existed, but they were flip phones pretty much only. And texting was just starting at that time of life. So this is one way for you to come straight out of the chute and have an audience and have power behind you instantly. You know, another situation where the affiliate program works really well is for somebody that's winding down for that guy that's been out there for 30, 35 years, wants to do more fishing, wants to travel. Um, you know, I know the auction business is very much a family business. It is in my family, you know, my wife, Nicole and I, we homeschool our children. So, um, it's pretty rare and the people on the call will laugh a little bit. It's pretty hard to see me and not see everybody in my family because we're always together. And because it is such a family business, you know, oftentimes everybody contributes. And when you get to that point in life where you say, you know, it's time to do more fishing, it's time to do more travel and we want to see the world, but we got this business now. We kind of created this thing that we can't get away from. The affiliate program is another spot where that works really, really well. You know, another place that I think it works really well is for real estate companies that want to offer the auction method as um, either competition or just an extra tool in their toolbox. This is a place where you can come with very little knowledge and we can help guide you. You can get, you can offer auctions with our guidance and our expertise behind the scenes to be able to grow that part of a business. You know, a lot of real estate companies actually don't even offer the auction method. But this is one place that other auction companies can or other land brokerages that don't have an auctioneer on staff can actually offer auctions without having that expertise themselves because they're going to be using our expertise to do those things. That's, you know, that's my real view of the affiliate program. I think it's, it's something that's very strong. And I know that what we've put together is extremely strong for people uh, to come in and do business very quickly, easily, and have a lot of power behind them in the auction business. You know, I'd, <clears throat> I'd add just a little bit to that, Jason. <clears throat> Excuse me. I was probably uh, Dream Dirt's first affiliate auctioneer probably, what, six years ago? Yeah, it's been six, seven years ago now. Uh, you know, when you and I and uh, first started visiting and uh, I had my own auction company and, and it was doing well, uh, but it was it was ran like a, a pardon of better language, the old fashioned type way with uh sheets being ran and and hand clerking and and so forth that and i really wanted to uh step out above and beyond 
of what was going on in my community and, and stuff that wasn't being done. <clears throat> and we, you had uh, had your internet exposure with online stuff. And that's what was super appealing to me is nobody did that. Nobody was doing that type of stuff uh, with their auctions. Um, <clears throat> I can say pretty proudly in the last boy, I don't know, and you can help probably five years in, in our, in my community, uh, Dream Dirt's conducted a majority of those machinery type auctions just because we offer that. We offer that uh, presence with the, the online method of, of getting those bids as well. And as a seller, that's something you really, really want. You want your, your asset exposed to everybody who's willing to buy it. Uh, so I guess what I'm getting at a little bit is if you want to be an affiliate, that's great. Uh, if you get along, get going and uh, you want to see something more, that's kind of where I, I was. I was dead set on this is my company. I'm proud of it. This is my baby. I'm not letting it go uh, to one day. I was like, this doesn't make sense. I'm dream dirt. Uh, and that's kind of where I come along. So there's there's just a whole lot of options here. You know, Tom, yeah. and I remember all of those conversations back in that time. And, you know, it wasn't without struggles, um, you know, to, to move back and forth and, and how we did things. But I can remember a lot of conversations that you and I had. And in, in many of our conversations, you know, one of the things that we concentrated on was we wanted to gain market share in your market. You know, we wanted to own that market. And I would say that, you know, looking back five, six years now, like you said, now we're conducting the majority of the auctions rather than fighting for business. Now in that market, we are conducting the majority of the auctions um, for land and for farm machinery in that, uh, you know, that south part of central Iowa and south central Iowa. Um, and that's because of the power of the things that we've done and the people that are on our team that back those things up, the support that we have in people. And it just continues to grow. And that's what we offer to other people too that are interested in becoming an affiliate is to help you gain that market share in your market and to help you become a prevalent name, to have you be the, the go-to source of information in that geographic area. And you know, not, not to drag this out, uh, and we've recently had, and we haven't talked about them a whole lot, but we've kind of uh, had another auction company absorb into us just because uh, the father wanted a, a, a more options for his son that he wants to be successful in this business. And that's the webs out of Clark County, Osceola. Have Super joined, people. Great people uh, have, have said, Hey, we, we 100% want to be dream dirt. Uh, we we want to conduct our business through you guys. You guys uh, understand this stuff. Your, your, your marketing is far none. Some of the best we've seen. Why try to beat you? Uh, you guys have a fantastic deal. We want to be a part of you. So they're, they're another one of us that uh, is not an affiliate. We have affiliates, but they just kind of ingrained their business and, and going to conduct business. Yeah. And they work directly for us, you know, sort of more on that agent side of things rather than the affiliate. But again, you know, the webs, if, uh, hopefully they're watching to watch this eventually. It's just absolutely super people. Um, uh, Dylan and Jeff, I've always thought a lot of both of those guys, and I think that they fit in really well with us. I mean, they're the exact kind of company that fits in really well, either as an affiliate or an agent with our company, because it takes a lot of the stress off of them. You know, Kristen's here. She gets to place all the newspaper ads. She gets to create all of the communication. She, you know, she's laying all that stuff out or has people with helping with all those things. You know, it makes more sense that if you're a salesman and you love selling things to get out and sell and let somebody else handle those details. I know when I started the company, oftentimes it was Nicole and I, and I couldn't tell you how many times she and I stayed awake all night long, you know, addressing flyers, things that just had to go out. And, you know, that was pretty taxing. That was, that's really, really hard on you to do those things. And then she and I had no time to enjoy marriage and our children, you know, during that time period, it just makes sense that, uh, you know, if you like to sell, go out and sell and enjoy a little bit of your life and hand off some of that work to somebody else. Absolutely. Yeah. Sorry, Nicole, and go ahead. One thing I'd like to say, you know, with one of the affiliates that has come on with Rock and M, 
I mean, just the comments that he alone has called after their sale, Jason. And he said to you, you know, I can't believe being able to join as an affiliate and the opportunities that having that <laughs> online platform has given to them. They couldn't just, they just couldn't believe the reach that they've gotten and the prices that they've gotten as a result of that. So it really can benefit just to join as an affiliate. Keep your company, that's fine, but allow yourself the benefit of online bidding, whether it's just online or it's live with online. It, it really can help your company grow. Yeah, no, I definitely agree with that. And our affiliates that we have now have always had really, really good success. And, uh, you know, especially enjoyed the prices and, um, we just had a recent one where I got a text that said, this is amazing. This furniture is selling through the roof. This stuff never sells. Um, you know, in this case, it was selling for $150, $200, and $300 a piece. And that's a really good testament to what is capable using the online platform. I was going to add a note about Rocking M as well. Um, and for anyone with their auction company that is worried about um hosting online auctions or learning about the technology about it. Uh, Nicole and I are here to support you and walk you through exactly how the technology works. Um, so don't be afraid of, well, I don't even know how to open up Google or something on your laptop. Like we will help you and support you along the way. It's super easy. And um, like with Rockingham, we're gonna go to Oklahoma and help them with their first auction. Um, help them clerk it and go through everything. So it's super easy. Don't be scared of it. And we're here to help you. I'd, I'd add on that as well that, you know, you brought up a good point, Rachel. Uh, <clears throat> some of the older generation is is intimidated by it. And uh, it, if it's something you want to do, we're gladly myself, Jason, Rachel, Nicole, Kristen, any of us, uh, we can go to you. We're willing to do that. Uh, we want you to, to success and gain from it. And, you know, we all truly believe in this and know how powerful it is to help you. <clears throat> yeah, and, and I'll also add on to that, Tom, too. Um, you know, Rachel said that her and Nicole be going down to help Rock and them with their first auction. It's not actually their first auction. What she really meant was it's their first simulcast auction. Um, and it's not even their first, this will be the second one, because I think you went down there and helped them with one when they ran it through the Dream Dirt platform. And then they said, hey, that was pretty cool. Let's, you know, let's move on to the affiliate status. So what they're actually going to be doing is they're going to be going down there to help their team learn the software. They're going to come on site and help them learn how to uh, take the bids online during the simulcast auction. Because a part of the affiliate program is you'll end, you'll end up getting a bidding platform that allows you two different types of auctions. One is a simulcast auction where you have a live crowd in front of you and you're actually calling bids, but you're having simultaneous online bidding. That's a part of our affiliate uh, platform as well as timed online auctions. Now that's an online auction where the bidders bid against the clock, the clock winds down and uh, then the bidding ends. There's no live outcry in that type of an auction. Um, so, you know, to Tom's point that we'll travel to you to help, absolutely we will. You know, and as our admin team can, can, continues to grow and we continue to add people on to support all of our various products and auction services uh, to sellers and uh, the auction community. Um, you know, we'll continue to add more people across the United States to serve those functions. So the one point I might make is it doesn't matter where you're at in the United States. It doesn't matter if you're in Washington state or Florida. It doesn't matter if you're, uh, you know, we have uh, one uh, affiliate uh, that we've been working with in Canada as well. So it, you know, it, this doesn't matter where you're at or where you're from, this will work for you and you don't have to be intimidated by the technology. In fact, in some cases, it's not even technology that you have to learn. A part of our affiliate program would allow you to just have us manage all of that aspect of your auction and we can handle it. So that it, in some cases, it's as easy as saying, you guys do it and we'll do it for you, um, where you may manage a part of it or you might manage all of it and we might manage all of it. How many... <clears throat> Just something why we were on it, and how, currently, how many affiliates and and partners and type situations do we currently have going on? I've kind of lost track of them myself, Tom. Um, it it's become enough now to where um, you know, we have at least a full time person managing all of them and looking at hiring another full time person to manage more of them. Um, you know, we've done a lot of stuff, especially in the Midwest. And I'd certainly like to see that spread out a little bit, you know, out into the farther the plain states and the southern plains, 
And I think that we're prepared to start moving in those areas. You know, we've done a lot of business in Oklahoma recently um, and uh, some in uh, uh, a fair amount in Missouri and Minnesota as well, too. So North Dakota, South Dakota. Yeah, South Dakota, too. It's all exciting stuff. Um, I was sharing that PDF. Um, happy to send that to anybody who's watching and interested. Um, there is a bit of information on the link I shared in the video, but um, if you'd like to get your hands on that kind of informational packet. I almost think that she's harder to hear than I am sometimes. She froze up on my end. Just let yeah. them. There I am. Is. There you oh. go. You're doing, you're doing good now, Kristen. Oh, good. Well, well, I'll just hand it right back to you guys. Let's talk a little bit about opportunities with farm bid and we take bids. Tom, do you want to lead this one off? Absolutely. Uh, you know, so we just kind of talked about everything that we can offer that way. But even if you you weren't interested in that <clears throat> and you have an auction company or, or you even want to be a representative with us, uh, we offer farm bid, which is a, is a perpetual auction that we call it. It's an auction that's every Thursday at two o'clock, just like any other uh, sale barn type situation. You know, uh, at two o'clock on Thursday, we're selling something, whether it's 10 lots, whether it's 100 lots. Uh, so if that's something that somebody would be uh, interested in, uh, whether being a representative for us or if they have an auction company and they want to, uh, you know, they have somebody come to them, and, you know, they don't have the the what am I trying to they don't have the the platform to sell one or two pieces or they don't have a sale coming up soon and somebody wants to sell something and they don't want to lose that business we offer that farm bid that <clears throat> we sell everything every Thursday like I said it could be one lot it could be 20 lots it could be a complete uh, it could be a complete sale for you we've done them on our Thursday sales as well on there uh, but we offer that to those those people as well like i said if they want to be a representative or they have their own auction company then on the other side we have uh we take bids it's more of the personal property that nicole has developed a uh, super successful personal property website bidding platform i believe we have uh <clears throat> have had rock and m use this as well uh, we've had uh, Libermont auction in in uh, minnesota use it as well uh it, it's it's kind of just a network that you're pulling together your buyers uh, for that personal property type stuff and putting it online. And uh, I think Nicole told us last week that she had sold uh, something to all 50 states in the matter of time that she's had this up and running in three months, I believe. Uh, that's quite an accomplishment. That's something Jason and I have not accomplished with machinery. I, I think we're probably running about 30 states. So that's quite an accomplishment. So. Yeah, that's that's doing really well. That platform has been amazing. And Tom, I'm 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 going to point out one. Uh, just make sure that everybody understands. Uh, the farm bid platform is a perpetual auction that happens every Thursday at two o'clock, and we allow anybody to put anything in that thing that they want to in terms of farm equipment. So other auctioneers, um, you know, if you own an auction company that doesn't specialize in farm equipment it, I mean that's a difficult audience to reach it's not difficult to reach but it's expensive to reach to build enough of an audience to create the competition necessary to sell those assets for the best amount of money so if you're an auctioneer that doesn't specialize in tractors and farm machinery maybe you have a coin auction or something but people know you're an auctioneer and occasionally they're going to come around and have a tractor to sell or you know you're going to come across occasions or situations where maybe you get called on an estate that has your particular type of asset, but it also has this. And we want auctioneers to know that that's something that they can put in the farm bid platform. That's their advertising. You know, no different than you would go place a newspaper ad for something. It's it's really no different in coming to Dream Dirt. You're looking for an advertising resource and that's what we sell as an advertising resource for you to do those things. So anybody anywhere that has farm equipment can put it in the farm bid auction. It's a simple, uh, the submittal process is extremely simple, um, and it can be as simple as texting or emailing pictures with a description. Um, it, it is no more complex than that to get things into that auction. 
Rachel right here on the screen is the very person that inputs that stuff into the computer and manages that entire process all the way through the settlement. Um, and again, the settlement is something that we do for the farm bid auction, send all of those payments out for everybody. Um, and we can make that as simple as sending the seller their payment and sending you your commission or, you know, sending all of the money to you and letting you settle with the seller. That is, you know, you, know, that's something you choose during that time. Something kind of works vice versa too, not to interrupt you, Jason, but you know, for the agriculture, agriculture auctioneers, kind of like ourselves, uh, we found ourselves turning away some of that personal property type stuff and referring it to other companies, mm -hmm. uh, where you know if they they run into a personal property auction uh they can use the we we take bids so so both of those really just kind of work hand in hand whether you you know you're the personal property auctioneer that uh, may get a few pieces of equipment through the year or if you're the machinery auctioneer and and uh, you get an estate that somebody wants you to sell uh, we can help you i know those auctioneers that are using the we take bids have been really impressed with how that's taken off and you're right tom for years and years, we would refer those personal property auctions out to other auctioneers. We just didn't deal with them um, until we finally come to the point where we said, you know, for our clients, this just makes sense to have a one-stop source, not have to deal with two auctioneers. And that's the one thing, you know, about Dream Dirt now. It's completely one-stop from, you know, the kitchen towels through the farmland. We can handle every bit of that. We have something that, and, and, you know, and same in terms of other agents or auctioneers that might want to do business with us we have a way to sell everything. I mean, there isn't anything that we can't sell or anything that we haven't tackled all the way from Tom and I, you know, marketing and selling 10,000 acres in Paraguay through selling kitchen towels. We've been there and done it and we know how to help you do those things and help you grow your business. We have a ton of knowledge between the two of us. We've learned some things the easy way and some things the hard way, but we have the knowledge to do it. Awesome. Um, ben Holland saying hi on Facebook for anybody who wants Good to know. Day, buddy. He's probably and outfit. Let's, <laughs> let's wrap it up with our last topic. We talked about it a little bit with the auction affiliates, um, but let's talk a bit about our white label bidding software solution. Okay. I, I'll, I'll start off with that one. And, you know, that's, uh, that's another product that we have. Um, you know, sort of an, I guess, affiliates in a way on, but they're not really affiliated with us because it is white label. Um, so we spend a lot of time to develop our own software and to develop our software to a point that it works for land auctions specifically. Um, you know, we're at the point now where we've got the, the multi-parcel portion of the software developed and, uh, you know, hitting the streets as well. And, you know, I got to go back and tell just a little bit of the story about how this came about. And if you read any of our eBooks, we have eBooks on, on selling farmland, maybe don't relate so much to this conversation, but it talks a little bit about my experiences and how we came to the point of developing our own software. There are lots of different softwares in the world that work to do online auctions. There's just a myriad of choices in today's world. But as it relates to land auctions, as it relates to farmland auctions, Dream Dirt is where that came from. There was years ago a race on to see who was going to do that, who was going to be um, the person or the company that was successful in developing that platform and making it work. And so we had been using multiple third-party softwares. Um, you know, the, a really popular one is Highbid. We had tried high bid, we had tried proxy bid, we had tried all kinds of things, but we couldn't get any of them to really work the way they needed to work and the way they had to work to do the best for the client. So we said, let's start from scratch and let's do this. And we began to contact developers and, and ask questions and figure out, you know, how can we make the platform do this? How can we put this interaction in? How can we create this engagement? And there was, you know, just lots of questions and, and ways that that came in. I don't know if we just launched a new listing, but my phone was ringing like crazy. I apologize if I'm moving off the screen because it keeps leaving my computer screen. But we, we, when we worked on developing this, you know, we, we wanted a, an auction that was online that mimicked a live auction. Live auctions are very powerful, but they have their downfalls. And we were we wanted to create a system that could negate those things. And that was mainly the social friction in the bidding process. I, I use it, you know, we've heard a lot about social distancing lately. 
And that's, you know, the social friction is something that we've been using for years at Dreamder in terms of explaining our product and the process of what we do. That social friction, when people come together and all of a sudden those uh, maybe, you know, I don't even know what they are, then primal instincts kick in and people sort of gauge who they are in the room versus everybody else in the room. They judge their power and they judge their ability. And, you know, all of that creates the social friction that people make judgments against. They make decisions against these types of things. So when we went to put this software together, we wanted to negate all this. We wanted to create the perfect process for selling farmland online. And I believe, you know, as we hit 2020 now, we're nearly 90, probably 96% online farmland auctions now. Um, it, we're to the point where a, us doing a live auction in person is much more rare than doing one online. And, and we've seen that flip or that inverse reaction over the years where we were mostly live, but we do a few onlines. And you know now we've completely flipped it to where it's almost completely online. Now with this coronavirus pandemic, we see aux lots of auctioneers racing to the internet to create online land auctions. And a lot of people looking to us and a lot of people coming to us for advice and trying to figure out you know, exactly how, how that happens, how we do that, what the best practices are. And that's the reason that we offer these programs um, to help others get into those things. You know, one thing I'd add to Jason is, you know, you talked about a, a, a lot of internet providers for online services for auctions uh, out there. And uh, I would say we're probably one or one of the very few uh, that it offers this service to other people that is conducted by uh, actual auctioneers. Yeah, I agree. And I think that that is a, a very valid point, Tom, because many online platforms are run by software developers or people that just had an idea to create this thing. And that's what makes us very unique is we are, Tom and I both are CAI, CAI auctioneers and graduates of the CAI Institute. Um, both papered auctioneers graduated from the Worldwide College of Auctioneering. Nicole has graduated from the Worldwide College of Auctioneering as well. And years and years of experience. I apologize. I, I've turned that thing off a hundred times and it just keeps on going. I'll try. I don't want to shut it off because I'm using the internet. Um, there is a lot of, of knowledge. And I said earlier, we learn things the easy way and we learn things the hard way. We've been down that road. And essentially, in addition to graduating from the Worldwide uh, College of Auctioneering and the CAA, maybe there was a little bit of the School of Hard Knocks in there as well. Um, so it's something that people can rely on. You know, I know that that was something that I tried to do when I came into the business was find people that would, could, would or could mentor me and help me learn things um, where could I get the most knowledge? You know, I, I, I brokered with an a, with a, a broker, oh boy, I don't know, I think it would have been pre-2010, that was uh, essentially a national broker, and he had a ton of knowledge, and I learned so much by being around that knowledge, um, just from his habits. That was one thing that when you're, when you're a good observer, you can learn a lot about people um, from listening to their stories, seeing how they interact with people. And, you know, that mentorship was something that meant a lot to me over the years. And I know that that's something that I've always enjoyed providing for other people is that they can learn from me and kind of duplicate my best practices and how I do things and how I became successful. Because I love to see people be successful. I mean, there's just nothing more appealing in life to be able to help other people find success. Because, you know, I've got I've got success, Tom, you've got success. And it's a really fun thing to help motivated people that really want to do good and really want something in their life. Uh, it's not so much fun to help people that are unmotivated and don't want anything, but it, you know, when you can find good motivated people, that's really refreshing and exciting to interact with people like that, that really want something that excites me too. Sorry, I was muted, but I think that really sums it up really well. Um, we're excited for all these opportunities clearly, and we're really passionate about them and the um, opportunity they have to help others not only grow their business, but if um, you wanna grow kind of your own personal business as an agent, I think um, you should definitely reach out to anyone on our team. We can help get you in the right hands if you um, just need some questions answered 
or just want some more resources, we have information on all the opportunities we talked about today. Um, so does anyone want the last word? Otherwise we can wrap this up. I think I've said plenty. I don't know, Rachel uh, or Tom or Nicole might have something to say, but that's probably as much as I've got for the day. And we'll be back here again next Wednesday at 10 o'clock, like we always are. And I'll see you all then. Yep. Well, Thanks for joining us today. Everybody stay safe. Thank you. All right. See ya. See y'all.